We live in an era right now where misinformation is everywhere. You go online, on social media, that's where a lot of people are getting their news and are being informed. And there's really no filter on what's being said. There is no um, obligation to report the truth or be engaged in facts. And what we've seen when it comes to vaccines is that this means there's a lot of false information about the supposed dangers and risks tied to vaccines. Health professionals have a really important role to play in pushing back against this tidal wave of misinformation. And now that we're seeing vaccine preventable diseases like measles come back mm -hmm. in a big way in places like North America, where vaccines are readily available and even paid for, uh, you know, we see that there's a real need to ins instill public confidence in vaccines and let people know that vaccines work. For so long, we've just taken it for granted that people understand these messages. And I think for a lot of public health professionals and ones that I've spoken to in my role as a journalist, there is this expectation that most people in the public do believe that vaccines work and are safe. Now, that's true. However, there is a subset of people that have doubts. Now, you might never convince someone who's an ardent anti-vaccine advocate who basically makes their living spouting some of these messages that they're wrong. But we know from research and surveys that between 20 and 30 percent of people are what we call vaccine hesitant. They might not want to get their children vaccinated because they believe that there's some safety risks involved because of things that they've read online, things that are false, but are very convincing. They're very convincing because People in the anti-vaccine movement know how to push emotional buttons and they invoke images of children who they say have been injured or killed because of vaccines. And even though the vast majority of those stories, at least the ones that I've researched, are completely made up and fabricated and the details are twisted to suit the narrative, they, they stick with people. They certainly stick with people a lot more than, you know, a bar graph that shows how vaccines have helped eradicate things like smallpox and, you know, reduce the incidence of measles, uh, you know, in places like North America and Europe, although now the opposite is happening. Um, so the role for public health professionals here is to say, to stand up for science, for evidence and say, this is what we know works. The fact that measles is back should serve as a reminder um, and really shake us out of our complacency that there are a number of people out there who for whatever reason are doubting the safety of vaccines and we need to do a better job of correcting the information that's out there to ensure that people understand that vaccines work and the risks of these vaccine preventable illnesses. The anti-vaccine movement is really effective because they engage in emotional storytelling. They, they, they have these images of children they use scare tactics. They're very forceful. A lot of the leaders of the movement are very charismatic. You know, it's, it's easy to start listening to them. And they don't say that they're anti-vaccine. They say that they're pro-safety. You know, that they're just trying to make everyone aware of the risks. And so someone might start to even buy into these messages and not really realize mm -hmm. what the ultimate goal is, which is to spread doubt. And a lot of times, let's not kid ourselves, people behind the anti-vaccine movement, this is how they make their money, they get donations. This is what pays their bills. Mm -hmm. And so they have a vested interest in continuing this dialogue. Meanwhile, the people who are at home who are digesting this information, they're, they are putting their kids at risk and they actually have the skin in the game. And so what we need to do is remind them of the real risks here and what's at stake. What's at stake is your child's health, the health of a family member or a friend who might have um, an, a compromised immune system and can't be vaccinated. You know, there's so many different reasons out there why we all need to be vaccinated and we all need to be reminded of why vaccines work.